In Mastercam 2026, we've introduced a brand new planes manager to help organize the various planes on your part. Let's take a look and see how this new enhancement can improve our workflow and programming. The first thing you might notice is the way the planes are laid out. These folders are called groups, and you can group planes to better organize your programming and design. For example, there were a lot of planes used to create the various features on this part. The planes titled Rib 1 through Rib 5 were all used to create various rib features. I'll highlight them all, right click and create a new group. And I'll name this group Rib Features. Now, as you can see, all the rib planes are organized under the group that I just created. I'll do the same for the planes that were used to create the various cooling fins. And in fact, I can do a keyword search for the word fin and any plane that meets that criteria will now be shown. This will make it easier selecting planes out of a larger list. The properties of the planes are still available, conveniently located at the bottom. This display is customizable so you can control what properties are available in this area. The planes also show the work offset utilizing this icon here. In fact, if we change one of these work offsets to manual, you'll see how the icon gets updated in the display to represent a manual work offset. You'll also notice that we can easily switch between our graphics view, active WCS, construction plane, and tool plane, all by selecting them from the display here. Our lock, display, and section view settings are also graphically represented here, making it easier to identify the various settings. And of course, you have customization over which entities are displayed within the Planes Manager, as well as the setting to contrast the rows for better viewing. As you can see, the new Planes Manager will help control and better organize your planes, allowing you to focus on your programming and designs.